Discover Audible, the home of storytelling, with audiobooks, podcasts, and exclusive Audible originals at your fingertips. Like Eric Banner's The Orchard, a haunting tale of a detective investigating an unsolved mystery. Or adventure across Middle Earth in J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Download the Audible app to start listening today. Membership fees apply. See audible.com.au for details. A listener production. Hey, it's Amy Ross with you. The Department of Climate Change, Energy, Environment and Water is in the southeast today. They're hosting two community information sessions on the proposed Port McDonnell offshore wind project. One's taking place right now at the Mount Gambier City Hall. The next one is at the Port Mac Footy Club from 4pm. The department is hoping to gain community feedback on the proposed exclusion zones. New data has revealed South Aussies are the number one scam victims in the entire country. It's been revealed 83% of South Australian residents have been targeted by an SMS scam, with 74% receiving a phone scam. Vodafone's investigations manager Amelia Fiddler explains what we should be looking out for. Any request for personal or payment details, if you are ever sent a number to call back and they're purporting to be a company, make sure again you're checking that number on a publicly listed website. And in a first for the South East, an All-Stars tennis tournament will be held in November at the Lucindale Country Club. Locals will team up with state league players to play singles, doubles and mixed doubles. There'll also be a ball kids program and a schools clinic. Dylan Hicks from Tennis SA says they want to encourage as many people as possible to get involved. So we're really hoping that um, by bringing some of the states there to the region that local tennis players, uh, whether that be juniors or seniors, can see what the top tier looks like and might, might inspire some of these young regional players to you know, take that pathway and hopefully be our next biggest player in the state. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Will West Gambia stretch its winning streak to 14? That's what the squad will be trying to do this weekend in the Western Border Netball. The side is coming up against South. The last time the two teams met, West got the win by 18 goals. Elsewhere, East will be taking on North Gambia, and Millicent is up against Casterton Sanford. BP Plus. Do business the clever way. Visit bpplus.com.au to find out more.